Welcome to Point Blank this week. Today we are going to have some uh, uh, fellows who have uh, visited Bridge TV from Bridge International Academy. They will introduce themselves and we continue. My name is Tisha Sandra and welcome. My name is Abigail and you are welcome. My name is Kathleen Baraka, welcome. My name is Precious. My name is Chris. My name is Rosalinda. My name is Sandra. Welcome. Okay, so thank you very much, guys. Now, the first question I want to ask you guys is that why are girls in some communities forced to circumcise? They call it FGM, female genital mut mutation. Why do girls uh, in some communities forced to circumcise? Some of them are forced to circumcise because it is their tradition. Some of them are forced to circumcise because it's their culture. Some of them are forced to circumcise due to false beliefs of their religion and culture. Some of them are forced to circumcise because of the pressure. Okay, thank you very much. Now, the second question I want to ask you is that girls are forced to marry in an early age instead of going to, to school. They are circumcised and given to marriage. Uh, do you agree with this uh, norm? No, because it's not, a child, it's not a right to a child. No, because the child is denied his rights. It is a no because it leads to child abuse and also it leads to early pregnancies. No, because this is not good for a child. He or she is supposed to be in school and not getting married at an early age. Okay, thank you very much. Now, we were talking to girls. That was the uh, topic of girls. Now, some children see their parents as enemies. They hinder them from enjoying their life. Now, do our parents our enemies because they hinder us to enjoy our life? No, they are not because some of them give us questions about, li about life. If you know that you are doing something bad and your parent corrects you, that is, that is a good thing. <coughs> It's a no because your parents cannot be your enemy while he's the one who gave birth to you. No, because the parent, the, the parent can't be your enemy because she, he or she is the one who takes care of you. To ask you another question. Is it good to ask the neighbor of what your parents can't give you? No, no, because it's not a good, it's not, it's not a good manners. No, because the parents don't have money, so they can provide for you later. No, because it's not every neighbor who is someone good. Maybe the neighbor can give you something what you want. At the end of the day, they use, they abuse you sexually. No, because when. When there is no neighbor, who will you go and borrow? No, because some of them take advantage of you and they can't help you. They just end up getting you in a bad state because it's a bad thing. Okay, this is a bad thing. Now, let me ask you again. Can a boy or a girl buy you lunch? Yes, a boy can buy for, for you lunch if he or she is your friend and you trust them. No, because they does not have money. <laughs> yes, because the they girl can buy you money because... Buy you food. I buy you food because, because when the girl... Uh -uh, when the boy has not eaten, the girl will just buy for you. <laughs> yes, because it's not every boy who has a bad intention. No, because 
because not everyone has money. I'm saying if the boy has the money or the girl has the money, can he, they buy you food or lunch? Yes, because he or she has a good intention on you. And if you know you don't trust that person, then you should not allow for you should not allow them to buy for you lunch. Yes, because my brother is a boy and he can buy me lunch because it's someone from the family and who I trust. Okay, thank you very much. We're going to go for after break, then a short break, then we come back.